Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Vieran and today we're going to be talking about Mount Insignia bonuses. Now anyone that says they aren't important is wrong and I don't like saying people are wrong when they have an opinion but Mount Insignias and Insignias in general are really really important for item level, for stats, whatever. But we're going to talk about bonuses. Now I'm going to tell you which bonuses I have. I want you to tell me what bonuses you are currently running. Um, I'd say on your DPS, maybe your tank or your healer, you know, it'll help a lot of people out in the comments section who maybe are building a tank and a healer. But for me, what I used to run back in the day was three Gladiator Giles and Camaraderie. I think that's what I used to run back in the day before Mod 16. Um, three Gladiator Giles, was he worth it? Yeah, I could see the difference in movement speed compared to 2 and 3, but not anymore. So, we've got Warlord's Inspiration times 2, because we're not running the Augments anymore. So, your Summon Companion does more damage. So, that's going to boost your Companion's damage by 20%, I believe. Uh, there is a way of looking. Uh, what's the way of looking? Oh, there, bottom right. Your Summon Companion gains 20% more damage. Now, when you have 2, these diminish. So, the first one, that will be 20%. The second one, I believe, don't quote me on this, if if I'm wrong, someone let me know in the comments, I believe the next one is only 15%. It could be 10%, but I believe it's 15%. That is the diminishing returns. We've got on two Assassin's Covenants, which we'll get on to in a minute. We've only got one Gladiator's Guile. So it's basically you move, when your stamina is above 75%, you move 10% faster. And this diminishes when you've got two. So I believe when you've got two on, the second one, I, I want to say is 5%, but it might be 7.5%. I've not tested it out in a long, long time. But I want to say the second is 5%. Again, and the third... Is 2.5% someone let me know if that's right as well down in the comments section it's been a long time since I've tested this like pre mod 16 and then we've got two assassins covenants now there are others you could be using but assassins covenant is you lose 1000 of your defense deflect crit avoidance and awareness but you gain 1000 accuracy crit severity crit strike and combat advantage so if you've seen my stats here, none of them are in green. I'm always messing around with them. But yeah, I need the Assassin's Covenants. Also, the Insignias. Let's talk about the actual Insignias. So you've got the Legendary. Item level, 200. It's going to give you 300 power, 340. I want to say 340 is 0.3 of whatever stats are on your 40 like mine's combat advantage and power I believe it's 0.3% 340 is don't quote me on that either because <laughs> I might I might be just way off there but that's what I think it is and then once you go to mythic you've got item level 500 so it goes more than double double will be 400 but this goes to 500 and the stats also more than double this is why these are important. Mythics are important. Everyone knows mythics are important. However, they are damn expensive. We click refine here. We need the, I don't care about the refinement points, I've got them. But we need 2500 insignia powder. And I am not someone who's going to go to the Zen market and buy these. Because it's not a choice pack. You're not guaranteed the insignia that you want. You're probably going to get maybe a mythic that you don't want. And then when you actually try and convert that mythic, you don't get uh, 2,500. I believe you get, I want to say you get 1,200. 1,250, you get half. So you need two mythic insignias that you don't want in order to rank up one mythic insignia. Is it just me or is that stupid? I, I haven't. I think that's one of the worst things I've ever heard on this game. And there's been a lot, let me tell you. But, yeah guys. So, 
the ones that you could use are none of these stand out to me uh, you could use Barbar Barbarian's Revelry um, for more sustain to keep yourself up a bit more Protector's Camaraderie that's the one I was talking about whenever you're summoning combined attacks you gain 200 crit severity and defense that's not the one I was on about um, for the wizard combatants remover when you control an enemy you gain 2500 combat advantage um, is the smoke bomb classed as control on a on a rogue the smoke bomb might be classed as a control but I'm not fully sure I use it but that's just for AoE uh, whenever you drink a healing potion you're granted 2500 more defense I mean how often do people drink potions it's usually stones of health well in my case victims of preservation when you take greater than 35% of your maximum hit points in mitigated damage from a single blow, you gain 2500 defense, crit avoidance, awareness, and deflect for 5 seconds. So there's one for the tanks, maybe? When you use an artifact power, your cooldowns are reduced by 2 seconds. So this is one that I used to use, but I switched it out. But this is a really good one, so when you use an artifact power, your cooldowns on your enc uh, encounter powers will be reduced by two seconds which is really really helpful your magistrate's patience when you receive damage from a crit strike you gain 2500 crit avoidance and up to four teammates receive 2500 defense for five seconds this can trigger once every 10 seconds so i can see a lot of people do run this uh i don't know what i think tank should run it more so that he can buff the teammates berserker's rage while your action points are over 90%, they gain 2,500 crit strike. While your action points are below 10%, you gain 2,500 deflection. My action points are never full. I am always popping my daily. So this isn't one for me, sadly. Uh, you got Champion's Return. It's not a good one. I've never used that one. Wondrous Calvary's Warning. That's the one I was talking about. Okay. When you activate a mount combat power, you gain 2,000 to all of your ratings. That is a really, really, really good one. That is one you should consider getting. You need a Crescent, Enlightened, and a Barb. So you can run one Dominance and two Brutality or whatever stats you need. And then you got Shepherd's Devotion. When you use daily power, you and your teammates' defense is increased by... 1500 and movement speed is increased by 10% again. That is a really really good one That's one I used to use pre-mod 16 in cradle and when an when a ranger shot a long strider and then a guardian fighter shot um, Popped into the fray you just go flying off the edge at the tentacles. It, it was funny. It was good times got gladiator guy. We know that um, Travelers treasures treasures. I mean, it's not a big one. So all in all, there is a couple you can use, but these are the ones I'm using. Let me know down below which ones you are using. I'm really interested to know what everyone is using on their insignia bonuses. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Please subscribe if you are new. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.